Welcome back. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. The pandemic has caused a lot of people to confront something they may not have had to deal with before. Loneliness. Some are even calling the impact of social isolation on people a loneliness epidemic, something that affects nearly everyone, but particularly our seniors. It is a challenging time for those who are going it alone, and News 8 is addressing the issue in a series of reports designed to help. News 8's Kelly Hassadal takes a closer look at the toll the pandemic is taking on the physical and emotional health of seniors and organizations that are trying to help this holiday season. Hi. Well, some experts say that social isolation can be as damaging to your health as obesity and smoking, and seniors may be the most vulnerable. A glass window separates Sarah Jokum and her family from her 91-year-old father. He lives in a long-term care facility, and this is the only way they were able to celebrate his birthday. Here's what she told our sister station in Maine. He is 91, and you don't know, like... You just don't know what tomorrow will bring. Sadly, families across the country and right here in San Diego know the pain her family is going through because they're going through it too. Think of these families, you're right, in you know, going to trying to see loved ones, seeing them through glass or seeing them through a distance. Uh, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> Joe Gavin is part of the San Diego Seniors Community Foundation, an organization working to help seniors avoid isolation. He says now more than ever, seniors need support. A holiday season can be, be difficult for seniors uh, as it is, but even more so now during this, uh, these extraordinary times. A new report from the AARP Foundation finds that social isolation among seniors has reached epidemic levels during COVID-19. A study from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine shows that nearly one fourth of adults aged 65 and older are socially isolated. These older adults may have up to a 29% increased risk of heart disease and up to a 32% increased risk of stroke. The reality is even before the pandemic hit, one in five Americans was lonely. And now that we have social distancing and quarantines and lockdowns and all these things, it's up to one in three. Andrew Renda is the Associate Vice President of Population Health at Humana. The company launched the Far From Alone campaign to educate the public on the toll loneliness can take on your health and to reduce the stigma of talking about it. He says seniors often face more challenges. They may have retired from the workforce. They may have had a spouse pass away. Um, you know, they may have health issues that restrict their, you know, physical mobility. Um, they can have issues around hearing or vision. Gavin worries about the emotional toll. Concerns of people in the net aging network are like, what are the, the long-term effects of what this presents to people. His organization is working on using technology to bring seniors and their families together. Happy Thanksgiving! Meanwhile, for Sarah and her dad, they're trying to stay as connected as they can. Her family understands they must remain apart during the holidays for her dad's safety. Bye. Love you. She just hopes it doesn't take too great of a toll on his mental well-being. And if Zoom calls or FaceTime isn't an option for you to stay connected to an older relative or loved one, call them or even write them a letter. Do anything you can to make them feel less isolated. Back to you. Thank you, Kelly. And if you are a senior looking for ways to connect or your loved one is a senior who is struggling, we have several resources that can help. Just go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the Help button.